Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and it's very nice to meet you. So this video um, is going to be a little different. So first of all, I'm going to be showing you my makeup collection. Um, I've been doing makeup for about a year and a half now um, I'm, and I'm new to YouTube. So this is what my collection looks like. This is what I'm working with. I'll be getting more products eventually, but this is what I have now. And if you've watched my other videos, you can see the setting is different. I'm outside. Um, we live in North Carolina, so we are surrounded by forest and mountains. Um, if you hear some noises in the back, that's probably, um, one of my ducks, Milford. Um, so let's have fun and enjoy the nature while you watch. Okay, so I have separated everything into categories. Hopefully I can get through this efficiently. Uh, it won't be too long of a video. But I'm going to start off with my, my eyeshadow palettes. And hopefully the lighting on this isn't terrible, but we're going to start with eyeshadow palettes. So these are my first two eyeshadow palettes I ever received, and I really, really love them. They are the, Est one is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Eyeshadow. This is the Glam Palette. So there's a little bit more blues and pinks in that one. Let me put this over here like this little fit and I'm gonna put them in and then this one is the Estee Lauder Pure MV eyeshadow palette this is the nudes so that one is your more of your pink and browns next we have the ColourPop high tide palette this is really really pretty it's nice blues kind of like well obviously high tide is ocean but it's like your ocean coastal kind of blues and I really love them. The pigments on them are fantastic. They're just so, so pretty. Um, next we're going to start with this Alamaskew, Alamask palette. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but that's what it looks like. I'm actually wearing that palette today. I don't know if you can really see much of my makeup, but I just, um, used a little bit of this in my inner corner and then I put a, like a little bit on top, but this is the main shadows that I used. Um, it's a very good basic nude palette. If you like nudes, um, I'll definitely recommend this palette. I have the Violet Voss Sunset Palette. And I used this in one of the videos and that was, uh, I think, uh, my second testing new makeup video. And I've only used it that time, so I actually do want to keep using this. And I thought it worked really well. The purples are very pretty. And everything just blended nicely. Um, that's my first time using that brand. This is the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. I also used this in a video. And it's really pretty. Like, especially this color. Like, it looks in the pan like a light kind of silver purple. But, like, in a mirror or on camera, it kind of looks blue. But... I, I like that so I really really like this palette and the um, formula is very soft and creamy and it's so so easy to blend next I have this uh, luminate with Isa palette um, and I did a video of this and I don't actually like this palette there's only one reason why I'm keeping it and it's for the shimmers like this shimmer this one this one this one's more of your like loose glitter so i'm not a big fan of those but i really like this one it's it's like a mermaid kind of color so definitely keeping it for that reason that reason only <laughs> um this is like one of my favorite palettes this is the Too faced cinnamon swirl palette and that's what it looks like so it just has your nice light neutrals your dark neutrals and a few pops of pink and purple just to add a nice pop to your everyday makeup look okay next i have two natasha denona palettes um they are the smaller they're not the minis but they're like the five pan ones the ones that are uh because they have her like $180 palettes, $60 palettes. This is the $50 palettes, and this is the $25 palettes. So, this one is the Ayana, 
A-Y-A-N-A, Ayana, Ayana, I really have no idea, but it is so pretty. So I at first did not really like this palette. I think because it just had so much of a different kind of neutral kind of look to it. Um, but then I used it the other day for the second time and I completed a whole look using only this palette. Like, I look, it was stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The formula is amazing. So, mm, keep an eye out for her palettes. Um, I also have this one. I don't know if it was exclusively for Boxy's Charm and I think it was. But at some points, even if you're not associated with boxycharm like you don't you're not a subscriber you can still like go to their drop shop or mega drop shop now, i don't know when but at certain points you can order even if you're not subscribed so i got this palette i have not yet used it because i'm saving it for a video i'm actually waiting for another natasha denona product to come in so i can do a video using both of these but i just know i'm gonna love this and I've seen so many people say that they, too, love it. Okay, I have this Ciate London. I think this is just, like, the original nine-piece eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. It has some really nice, uh, deeper browns and then pops of color. And the colors blend very well. I was just thinking about this. I probably should be tossing down my eyeshadows. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna set them over here. Um... I had this palette. It is from Academy of Color. This is the just nude look eyeshadow palette. So you have some. Sorry, the lighting's kind of changing, but. Ugh! The sun's going down. I'll do my best so y'all can see. Uh, maybe you can see better there. But it's like a darker browns up top and then like some really really light colors next we are going to go into my two small palettes from Charlotte Tilbury so I have this walk of no shame luxury palette it's a really cute quad palette it just like is a super easy like four step little eyeshadow look and then I have this one, it's called Fly Flawless Eye Filter. This is the Hollywood, like, I guess, style, style? Yeah, it's the Hollywood uh, Flawless Eye Filter. So all these are shimmers. I don't know if you can tell, but they are all shimmers. I've mostly used this one. Um, but they're not like overwhelming shimmer. They're just like a really nice, subtle type of shimmer. So next I have this Laura Geller the casual collection I only use this once um, I wasn't the biggest fan but I'm gonna keep using it to really see if I like it um, the pigments are really nice it's just I don't know I guess none of the colors like spoke out to me because most of my palettes are that kind of shade range anyways but I do want to test it out and try some more okay my last eyeshadow palette is this ABH Norvina palette. This is volume one and this has a lot of purples So there you go. It's like some orange some pink some purple pop color pops uh, a couple pops of like a golden color This is a really nice spring palette and the pigments are wonderful. You do need to build them up a little but absolutely wonderful. I know they have like six volumes now the sixth one is the new one. It's the, um, it's like the space, like, kind of look to it. And the colors look stunning. Okay, now I have four more eyeshadow products. These two are liquid eyeshadows. So this is the Too Faced Melted Chocolate. Um, this is the color Cocoa Cream. Um, it looks kind of like you're just your average, like, beige neutral color. Um, and I really, really like this. I think it's creamy. It doesn't dry down sticky. It's very easy to put eyeshadow on top of. Um, and very blendable as well. Um, it can dry a little quick, but I normally blend my stuff out instantly, so it's totally okay. And then I have this Ciate London Shadow Flip in the color Ember. So, I don't know if you can see. It's like multi 
chromatic. It's like brown and green. Um, I used this one time. It's actually nice. I just, I don't really use these colors, but I do like it. And I have used it. And I do want to keep using it. It's probably hard to see some of the products I'm showing you, but I just thought this would be a, a fun new style of doing a makeup video because normally they're inside so I just brought out a table and brought everything out here okay I have this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Ultra Metallic it's like a shimmery orange it may look pink but it is like an orange and I really like it I think, it, I think it's super pretty and it's just shiny, blendable, and smooth like all of ColourPop stuff is so nice I don't know how to say this. It's like Le Q, Le Q. Um, I don't know. It's um, it's a loose shimmer um, in the color FX Mermaid. M probably Mermaid FX. Um, I'll try to... A little spilt. It's a little messy. I've only used it once and I don't... I'm not the biggest fan of this, but I do want to try to get better at using... Oh! Ah! Okay. That just spilt everywhere. Um, let me see. So, it's like this blue. Yeah, um, it's shimmery, um, and it's kind of like a metallic look to it. That just spilled. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm done with my eyeshadows. I'm going to go into my concealers. I have two concealers. Um, I have the... Magic Away by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I have it in the color number two, which is Fair Pell. It's really, really nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, which I've mentioned this in other videos, is the applicator. But, you know, you blend it out anyway with, at least I do, with a beauty blender. So, no big deal. And then I have this e.l.f. Uh, camo concealer. And this is in the color Fair Beige. And I think that their concealers are pretty full coverage. I really like them. And I think they're like 6 or $9. So totally worth the price. Okay, next we're going to go into my foundation. So I have a mix of powder, and stick, and liquid. So first we're going to go in with my powder. This is Palado. Palladio. I really don't know how to say it. But it's in the color Cypress Beige. What it looks like so it's like a light tan um at some points this is a little too tan for me but i do like it like it goes on well and it has in my, for me a powder this has really full coverage and then like underneath has a little sponge i think most powders do anyway but i like that so it's like a little compact kit i have another powder but it's the Laura Geller one, it's in Fair, but I keep it in my purse to do little touch-ups on the go. Um, I have this Perlis Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. It, um, it has SPF 30 in it, and it's the color Medium. It's really nice. It's very illuminating. It um, It's not full coverage, which some people like. Um, and it has SPF 30 in it, so for your everyday casual look, I think that that's perfect. I mean, that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I have oily skin, so I did have to blot out a little bit, set it with powder. It was, for me, it can be a little dewy, but I still like it. It's very workable, um, and it is just slightly buildable, too. Next is, this isn't really a foundation, but is the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm trying to get good lighting over here flawless filter so it's like it can be used on your makeup on your makeup just as like a base um some people wear it just on their own and i think it's stunning for me it's too light of a coverage for me to want to use it on my own but i have it in the color 2.5 and fair but i totally recommend this this is really nice i know if you don't want to pay that price point there is dupes um, so you can totally check that out. This is my favorite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I have it in 2W1 Dawn. That is my concealer. It looks really tan with the lighting, but trust me, it's not. It's more on your yellow side. Next, I have this stick 
foundation from Sephora. It's make no mistake. It's the foundation and concealer stick in the color Beechwood. Now, this is very, very light. Um, but I keep it in case I ever need, like, a nice light uh, foundation base or, like, a concealer backup. So, I do, like, I think the f formula is pretty nice. Next, I have this, uh, I'm going to say this the best way I can. Tristique. Tristique. I'm just going to say Tristique. Uh, foundation. I like that it looks like a little pencil, but it's like a stick. It is in color Paradise Island Beige, and they are refillable. Now, all you get is like this much, and you pay like, I think, $30 or something for it. So, price point, in my opinion, eh, it's not worth it really, but the foundation is nice. The only thing that maybe I don't like about it is just like the texture of the way it goes on. It like... I don't know, it like makes my pores more noticeable. But I do like working with it, playing with it, and seeing if it works. Um, with like new techniques. Um, and then next I have this Rimmel London uh, Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. Oh, that noise is uh, the bunnies drinking water. <laughs> if you're wondering what that little noise is. And this has um, SPF 20 in it. And it's the color 402 Bronze. Remo London. It is pretty tan, um, but like if I needed to, I could pair it with the really light Sephora stick. So I think it's I think it's nice. Um, I've only used it a few times. I think that it does blend pretty well. Um, the coverage I think maybe is a little light, but you know, most things you can build up anyway, so no big deal. Okay, next we're going to go through, like, my stick products, like, stick shadows and eyeliners. So, I have only two eyeliners, well, three. I don't really wear eyeliners. That is something I kind of want to work on, uh, but for now, this is all I have. Um, I have the TYNT Smoky Eye Pencil, um, and it's, like purple it's not really focusing. there we go it's like this purple color um it's a little messy in my opinion but i mean i don't have that many liners so i'm just you know keeping it and then i have the ico uh black felt tip liner and the stephanie oh, it's Seraph seraphine botanicals luna liner this is what it looks like. It's also felt tip. So, in case I ever need liners or want to practice more with liners, I got those. And then for an eyeliner, I use this for my... Let's get an eye pencil. I use it for my uh, waterline. This is the Silk, es Essence Silky Nude Liner. And it goes on so nice. It's very creamy, very nude, and very long-wearing. It's waterproof, and it, like, actually is waterproof. Like, it doesn't just say it. Okay, so I have four, like, eyeshadow sticks. I've only really used one of these, but I do want to use these as well. So this is the Ico Double Act. One side is Dawn, which is, like, a dark brown. I just watched them, and they do seem really creamy and blendable. And this one is, see, oh, this one was Dusk, and this one is Dawn. So that one's, like, a light brown, and they, okay. Just the Dawn has, like, some shimmer in it. And then I have this, two of these pinky rose. Came in a set. One is hip-hop and one is jazz. So, this is what they look like. Um, let's see. Hip-hop is the light-colored one. This one right here. And this one is jazz. It's, like, a shimmery bronze. And... I kind of use these and played around on my with, um, ugh, with them on my lid one time, and I thought they blended out pretty well. I mean, I don't know if the two by themselves is like the best combo, but if I was to play around with it and add more different color eyeshadows to it, I think that'll work, and that's what I want to do. And then my last one is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds uh, eyeshadow stick. You can't tell, but it's very champagne. It's 
very, very pretty. Uh, I normally use that like on my bottom lashes and like my inner corner, but I want to try it like as an all over kind of eyeshadow look. Now this is the lip liner and from Charlotte Tilbury and Pillow Talk 2 Medium. So it's a little bit darker, uh, but not too dark. This is the just original Pillow Talk lip liner. It's a little bit lighter. Let me just see. I can cut on the lighting real quick. There we go. I'm back. So I cut on the porch light. And I think you can see me a little bit better. It's pretty much like a, a spotlight. So I like this. Um, and then my last lip liner is the Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Feel and Define liner in the color Crush. So it's like this triangle shade, which is different. But I think it gives you good, like, options of different angles of lining your lips. I think it's pretty cool. And so lastly, as far as my stick products, I have this uh, Sugar Rush Stamp Star. Or Star Stamp. That's what it looks like. Just a little star. You just want to put like a little star on your face. It's good for like celebrations, birthdays, festivals, you know, things like that. Um, and then I also have this. This is not a stick, but it's so cute. It looks like a little, like, hook bottle. And it is a liner. And it's a glitter, like, purple. It's not a solid glitter. Like, it's not fully glitter. You can see, like, underneath it. But I think it's pretty. It's, let's see, right there. Yeah, can you see that? So if you were to, like, put a liner and then put, like, as a liner topper, I think that'd be really nice. So that is that. I'm going to put these away and make some more space. Okay. Now we're going to go into, um, oh, I forgot a foundation and that's because I don't like it. Um, it's this Ulta Beauty foundation. It is a youthful glow like serum foundation. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh no 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 no. So I don't know if this was just old and it was bad uh, whenever I got it or if it just they're all like this but if they're all like this lord please do not get it. Um, at least from my experience it was not good at all. So it like went into my pores and just like sat there and it was very splotchy so you could just see like little drops sitting inside of my pores i have like pretty noticeable pores um so that did not help and it was really hard to set i thought setting it would make it look better oh lord it just was not good so highly do not recommend it the only reason why i still have it right now is because at the end of the month i'm gonna do like my favorite makeup for april and this will be one that is not my favorite and I, at the end i only have like a couple products that i don't like um so i'm saving it for that other than that it would be gone already but just wanted to share that with y'all okay now for i don't know what i said i was going to do next but i'm just going to do this this is my um <laughs> that glitter got all over this stuff these are my eyelash products so I'm going to start with this one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. It looks just like the Fenty Mascara. I'm sure all of you probably know about all of these mascaras. Um, it is a an hourglass wand. So, I do like this mascara. It's very volumizing. It's very nice. It's just for me, It's a, it can be, get a little clumpy after just a few times. So, that's not my favorite thing about it. But I do like it. I do think it's quite beautiful. This is the Rare Beauty. The bristles on this are absolutely stunning. So it's lengthening, it's volumizing, and like that one can get a the Anastasia one can get a little clumpy. As far as I've used, as, huh, sorry. For as far as I have used this one, um, it's not gotten clumpy, clumpy on me, which is very very nice. So I'm gonna just set that over there. Um, next I have this. This is a eyelash primer. It's the Collab Lash Primer. That's, that's all it says. <laughs> um, let me get it. There you go. So, I don't know if you're able to see this, but on the top, 
yeah, you should be able to see it pretty well. So on the top bristles, they're pretty wide toothed. So they're like good for keeping, I guess, clusters of lashes together. And then the bottom one has like really small bristles. So it's separates your lashes very well uh, i've used this a few times it does take a moment for this to dry down so most of the time whenever i'm doing my lashes i'm in a rush so i don't have time to let this dry down because like on one eye it'll dry and the other one it won't and then it, like it won't be dry in time and i'll go to use it and it's just like my mascara on top of it and it's just a mess so if you have time to let this dry it's a good primer um i also have this Estee Lauder Extreme Black Mascara. There you go. Um, it is just your good kind of triangle wand. You get skinny and then widens. Gets a little wider at the bottom. And it's really good. I do like this. It's very lengthening. And like your lashes, like the little hairs, aren't clustered. It actually spreads it apart really well. Okay. And next I have this Man Eater mascara from Tarte this is what it looks like so let me get that off ah, it's getting hard okay there you go you can probably see little teeny tiny bristles and it's a really good lengthening mascara I'm wearing one coat of it today um that's what just one coat looks like so it's really really nice and then it has like little bristles at the top if you want to get in like corners i use the little bristle part on my bottom lashes and my last lash product is not like mascara related but it is the dr lily fan Pro Pro uh, probiotic lash enhancer so it just like it's like a serum for your lashes to help them grow i use it a little on my eyebrows from time to time so that's all for my lashes. Um, next, we're gonna do eyebrows. Well, where is that one product? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got four products here. First is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Tinted Brow Gel in the color of granite. It's like this brown with, um, I guess you could say hints of little bits of silver. Maybe that's why they call it granite. Um, I really like the way that this is set up because it has like a double ended wand like this side is all like fluffy and brushy this side's nice and short and thin so i really like this brush and it works really well good for natural bushy brows like that's how i do my brows today just nice and voluminous this is um well i don't really <laughs> i've not really had much experience with brow pencils but I could just say this is my favorite. Uh, this is the Brow Gal um, in color medium brown four. So it's a pencil. Um, and then on one side, it's a spoolie. And it also comes with, as a lid, a pencil sharpener. I thought that's just so handy. So this is the Brow Gal pencil. And I really like this. It's not too waxy. It, it does take a moment. You've got to press a little hard for those colors to really show. But it's perfect without being too much color. And it's just... I think a really good like filler okay next I have this I just it's like a little Clinique like testing pot I just put this in there it is not Clinique it is a like a styling gel it's just clear that's what I use for my brows um, it makes them a little stiff some people like that um, some people don't actually I think most people don't but I don't mind it so it's good I like to pair that with the pencil and just do like the pill and the pencil because sometimes if I add the brown um uh gel from anastasia i feel like it can with the pencil be too dark i don't know that could just be me but i feel like it makes it too dark and i don't like i have dark eyebrows i don't want them to be like bushy bushy so i think the clear and the pencil work perfectly together so i got this this is the brow bar by arima it is in the well you can see the bunny's cage <laughs> So it's in the, um, I guess it's in the dark range, shade range. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes with like a highlighter to do under your brows, uh, a concealer, a dark brown and a black. It comes with a pencil, tweezers, and a brow brush and spoolie. Um, I really thought I was going to like this. And in some ways I do, but in some ways I don't like This is too chalky. This is just not my color. And this is nice, um, but I mostly use the brow pencil. 
it's like this dark brown so I mostly use the pencil and it is nice um but this is more of like my backup now I do like it because it's like a whole com compact setup but it's just not my favorite but I'm gonna keep it for backup um so next we're gonna go into my bronzers I have a few here um I have this Vesca bronzer and color kiss by Centaur Santorini and this smells like coconuts it smells amazing it looks a little dark now see I don't know maybe you can see the lighter now it is slightly it is a little too dark for me so I have to like use it very lightly but I love the way it smells and if you look closely it has like little shimmers but it doesn't show up too super like volume like uh illuminating not volumizing <laughs> and it's not hair illuminating on the cheeks okay next i have this um hanali i'm just gonna say hanali i have no idea what it actually is um it is just a matte bronzer that's literally all it says um it's very light i don't know this might be like their lightest shade i'm gonna start putting the products no you still not better okay i'm trying to figure out better lighting okay so there you go it's just this really soft matte bronzer it's in my opinion nothing special but i like to keep it for just like soft soft bronzing days or um just if i want to contour my nose or something like that that's pretty much all i use it for <laughs> next i have this uh estee lauder bronze goddess in number three modern mercury this stuff is beautiful so in my opinion it can be a little hard to get on the brush but once you get it on it's there this is a very highlighting luminous bronzer um i like to sometimes uh especially if i'm doing like a really nice glam just put it all over like the face kind of after i'm done with my makeup and it's just so pretty and i really really like it okay next is my favorite bronzer ever um that i have tried this is the lys no limits matte bronzer i guess this is the color it's courage tan it is a little dark but i just go a little light handed with it and it is so stunning the color goes on beautifully it blends nice the formula is nice it's just like for me like the perfect bronzer and then next i have this little kit from estee lauder this is the estee lauder pure envy cheek palette this is the glow it comes with two bronzers i think one's more like the glowy bronzer like i just showed you and the other one's more like just a regular bronzer and then there's a blush too there you go so this is the modern mercury this is bronze goddess number two and then this is pink kiss so this is a bronze goddess like that one um that i just showed you and then this is the modern mercury which is like the same color so it's kind of like both like both of these make that one that i just showed you i guess you could say and then this blush it's very rosy pink that's very very pretty it's also very pigmented um and this one's yeah and 220 pink kiss okay that is all for my bronzer so i'm just gonna go in with like my setting powder i just have this one setting powder it's translucent so it works well for me it is the anastasia beverly hills and i think at some points it can maybe show a bit of a white cast but for me it works um i normally can blend it out pretty well so she's nuts okay for primers i have three um i have one eyeshadow primer which is the ace beauté in the color medium it's their eyeshadow amplifying base um actually it's a little like tan so when it goes on it doesn't look like your natural eye it looks like you're wearing like a little bit of a I guess you could say like light brown eyeshadow and that's perfectly fine with me because I normally start off with a neutral so either I can add a little bit more neutral to it or I can just leave it as is and then start my makeup uh my the rest of my eyeshadow so totally totally like this next I have this pure canvas uh by Laura Mercier it has SPF 30 in it it's really nice it lasts a long time too it's just like it's nice squeezy tube so i like that it has the spf in it and then i next i have well, my last primer is the elf poreless putty primer it's just the original 
and I love to use this inside of my like pores on my cheeks. Sometimes I do a little um, forehead and a little on the chin. But it's just like a cream, and you just smear it. They do have a brush, like a like their putty bronzer, or not bronzer, <laughs> just the putty uh, primer brush, and you just like. Just like a dense small brush but I actually like to use it for cream blushes so but you can use it for anything now this is my highlighters I have this one which is the Tarte uh, shaped hip glow one in the color sunbeam this is the lightest one they have it looks tan with the lighting but trust me it is like very light um, it just it's really nice it comes on a doe applicator um it's it's like your natural just glowy dewy kind of look it's not super shimmery um you can definitely like blend it out and make it less pigmented um but it, just in general it's not that pigmented it does come with a be little beauty blender but i do end up blending it out with one of my other beauty blenders next i have this kinder glow highlight palette i like it because it has like a variety like down here it's two tans this one's kind of like an icy color, but it's has like a little bit of tan like speckles in there to make it not so icy. And this has a golden color. So it's a really nice overall kind of like any type of look uh, highlight palette. And this is a palette that I have so been waiting for. An eyeshadow palette I have so been waiting for. And I'm so happy that I got it. Um, the colors are Mimosa, Sunrise, and Sangria. Sangaria? I have no idea. Sunset. And this is the Fenty Beauty highlighters. Orange and purple. They are absolutely beautiful. And even if you're not that type of person that likes to use bold highlighters, which is totally okay, and you just want to use like your neutrals, like your, sorry, regular like kind of neutral kind of color for your highlighter, that's totally okay. You could even use that as a highlight, like on topper. Like you could just do it as a color totally for anything uh, but I definitely recommend it if you like colors next I have this Glodia makeup palette this is their the this is the touch and soap pretty filter Glodia makeup palette and it has a nice shade range from light to dark and it, let me just tell you if you want to glow this is the palette she is shiny so I'm gonna swatch it just maybe you can see but you just see that that is just like one like little rub on the lightest color so she is very shiny so if you like shimmers this is the one um and if you don't want it to be too heavy like just do light headed and it won't be too glowy but this is like the perfect glow palette okay next i have this charlotte tilbury this is the film star bronson glow this is the uh, light to medium kind of shade range so it has like a bronzer and a highlight in it the highlight is stunning definitely five star luxury highlighter um it's not chalky it goes on beautifully and this um bronzer is a little too light for me so what i like to do is sculpt my nose out with it oh and it's beautiful so she's definitely like a staple in my beauty routine next i have this uh ba beauty bakery milk and honey highlight palette it comes with four different shades um and they are stunning you have your light um white color uh an orange a pink and a brown but the good thing is the pink and the orange like they kind of fade out so they don't really even look pink and orange they have like maybe a tiny like tint like maybe this one can look a little golden um and this one just looks like a little i guess you could say icy peachy uh but they are absolutely beautiful the only thing that i'm not the biggest fan of is i don't know if it's the, like my brush or something but it goes on like a little chalky but it eventually blends out and it's very nice okay next we have my blushes so there was the blush in that one estee lauder palette i do like using that one and then i have this ColourPop drop of a hat um super shock cheek it's like a, it's a cream blush and when you put it on it's like this pinky golden like in the palette obviously well not in the palette in the pan uh pot let's say pot uh it looks kind of like golden orange 
but once it goes on the cheek it's like a golden pink and it's beautiful it blends out nicely too next i have this half caked in bloom in the shade me and you it is very light but actually once you blend it it's it's like this really nice just touch of little pink on your cheeks it's a perfect shade and next is my favorite highlighter it's i mean it does have a highlighter in it but my favorite blush um it is by charlotte tilbury this is like my glam luxury like uh eyeshadow it's not eyeshadow does it right it is blush sorry it is the chic to chic cheek to chic um it is in just their pillow talk but i think they do have a shade range and i know for sure this is their lightest one so it's like a pink kind of shimmer and then like a highlighter shimmer so you mix the two together and you have this really nice illuminating illuminating blush i like to really build mine up um and it becomes like this really nice kind of like deeper mature kind of pink that's just my description of it but i think it's very very nice like my favorite and this is like my second favorite blushes this is the over cosmetics um charm your cheeks yeah charm your cheeks uh blush palette so i've used these three um and i do plan on using these i just feel like they're more of like your fall winter colors but i think i may still use them because they're just pretty but i have used all these and then colors are very pretty you just build them up a little bit and you've got some pretty pink cheeks now we're going into my setting sprays i got two i got this one that's more of a refreshing spray but it's by fenty beauty uh what did you make a refreshing spray and the open decay all nighter uh setting spray and i like them both um this one i do want to try to find like a different setting spray i do like it but for me i have had this a little while and i don't know if it's just the way all of them are but i feel like mine's a little too like the spray comes out too heavily it is scented this to me it's like a hairspray kind of scent um and it can leave like a different effect on my face but it's it's a good spray overall and this has like the perfect mister on it it's very nice definitely recommend the fresher spray okay now we're gonna go into the lips which is my biggest selection so i have Lipsticks, lip glosses, lip stains, liquid lipsticks. Uh, and I think that's it. Okay, so I'm going to try to do it by category. I'm going to start off with lipsticks first. Okay. Ah. Okay, lipsticks. So these are like my bullet lipsticks and these are my i don't know what you call these regular square oh square lipsticks so i'm gonna start off with the square one so this one is the Burt's bees 501 blush basin lipstick this is what it looks like um i have a lot of neutral colors like new kind of pinky browns uh just light kind of pinks and then just like just your true new colors so that's what you're gonna see a lot of i have this estee lauder pure color mv three or four in the color envious it's like this red that's very nice when you put it on obviously it is red but it's not like like this super magnifying deep red so some people may not want the deep red and if you don't, but you still want red, that's perfect. Next is this Real Her No uh, Filter Deep Nude Moisturizing Lipstick. It is very moisturizing and at the same time pigmented. I kind of expected it to not be so pigmented because it was moisturizing, but it's still very pigmented. Next is this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy 184 uh, Knockout Nude. And it's very, very pretty like this light kind of neutral um it has like maybe like hints of like pink in it but it's very pretty definitely one of my favorites okay now into the bullet forms is this charlotte shilberry uh glowing gin it's like this deeper kind of 
it's not really red it's more of like yeah this one's not red at all um it's just deep maroon kind of color with like pink not even maroon but now that i'm looking at it it actually does have like some shimmers in it but just let me tell you when it goes on the lips it doesn't really like it's not really that shimmery if you're kind of scared of that it's not but like look at this packaging that is so pretty okay next i have this anastasia beverly hills lips matte lipstick and the color resin this is what it looks like it's kind of an odd color i kind of just picked this and i did expect it to be a different color but it's totally fine i've worn it a couple times it's like this gray purple um it's totally different than what i'm used to but i actually do like it i just top it come with the gloss because it can be i mean i know it's matte but it's a little drying so i like to just top it next i have the charlotte tilbury just the original pillow talk lipstick that's what it looks like this is just your perfect nude and it just goes well with anything and everything and this one does not have shimmer on it it's so pretty this is like my favorite lipstick next i have another charlotte tilbury this is the mi kiss that's what it looks like now this one has a little bit more of like i guess you could say it's a maroon color there's more of your kind of like dark purple red kind of tone to it and it's very pretty this this one doesn't have much of a shimmer either it actually doesn't i think just the other one does because it's kind of like a specialty one so love charlotte tilbury stuff okay next i have this floss it's in the color sandals it is a lip and cheek stick so what it looks like um it kind of looks like my other lipsticks but when it goes on it's more pink um i've used it a few times and i do like it the only thing i don't like is like it's just like it's not very sturdy on there it's like it kind of broke it's staying in place but it's easily moved okay next i have this wet and wild in the color cherry frost so it is like a red shimmer kind of look it looks very red and it goes on like i'll show you it goes on red but it's like it has pink kind of inner, uh, um undertones um the only thing is it's it's moisturizing so it's almost like you could use it as like a, a moisturizing lipstick it just doesn't last very long like it just like easily like just wipes away like it really doesn't last so long but it's very shimmery i don't know if you can really see that but if you like things like that it's only a dollar then that's perfect okay next i have this lipstick and i have not used it yet but i want to this is part of the too faced too femme collection this is the color too femme and what i really like about these is it's like kind of like two-tone colors because it has like this maroon kind of color um definitely on the purple side like a burgundy i guess maybe and it has like a pink heart in the middle and Ugh, it smells like strawberries. It is beautiful. Um, I love all of Too Faced's stuff because most of it smells. And the formulation of everything is just spot on. Okay, next we're going to go into liquid lipsticks. I'm going to get all of those selected. Um, oh, I forgot a lipstick. Um, this is the... Uh, Fenty Beauty in Blackout Ballerina. It is very, very pink. It's very, if you want to say that's your like your Barbie pink. I do like using it. Um, it's a little drying, so I like to top it off with a lip gloss. But the color is very pretty. Now I'm going to try and organize these real quick. Okay, now I'm back. So, this are my these are my like liquid lipsticks. I have three from Ulta Beauty. I got like a bunch of little lips, lip products, and a little lip vault. So there you go. These are very very pretty, and 
you wouldn't think that these like last a long time, but they do. They're very water resistant. It may take a second for them to dry down, but when they do, they are very wear proof. Like they work amazingly. So I got those three. It doesn't actually have shades on them. Wait. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But there's like a dark kind of purple and brown. So these are my other ones. I got four more. This one is a brand that you can get off of Amazon, I believe. It's Hadayan. It's definitely a foreign brand. Hadayan. I don't know. It's just in the color, well, number four. It's kind of like a pinky kind of color. Um, this one is by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. It is in the color Karma. This is what it looks like. Sorry. I have things rolling everywhere. It's very nude. I do like it. It's very pretty. I've used it a few times, but I do like it. This one's by Zoeva. Um, it is matte chat. It's like your brick red. And it is nice. The only thing that I did notice is I would expect for it to be like, dry, like a lipstick that dries down pretty quick. But compared to my other ones, like I tested them out. And that one dries down like last out of all of them so i'm not too happy about that one but it's nice this is the laura geller 50 kisses lip locking liquid color this is in color royal kiss it's like pink um but like a little bit of a darker pink it's very pretty i just um did notice that it does like leave like a different i guess filling to your lips but it's really pretty it's nice Okay, next I'm going to go into my lip stains. I only have three, and these are from Ulta Beauty. So it's like this orange color, which actually, it's not orange. It's more like very light pink. Like this red and like this uh, kind of like burgundy color, kind of maroon. Um, and I do like them. The only thing is like they're a little watery, but they do stain your lips, and it's nice. Um, I have two of these lip oils. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I have three lip pulls. I have, I have a few more of these, like, Ulta Beauty, um, little glosses and things like that. But they're, like, in other bags. Oh! <laughs> um, I have, like, a little, kind of, like, a purple color and a brown color. And then I just have this, uh, by Bustic Beauty, this summer, summer lip pull. It's, it's just clear. It is nice. Um, now for, oh, I have one more lip cord lipstick. Okay. I don't know the brand. It's called Lip Power. And it's in Tiffane. Tiffane? I don't really know. But it is your true red. Like, look at that. And it goes on true red and stays true red. It is beautiful. Very elegant. Okay, next I have like a couple lips, like, like stick, like actual stick products. I don't know what you call these. Oh, crayon like lip crowns um i have this mark jacobs in how rogue um i like the color but do you see how like how messy that is it just doesn't stay in place it's very smudgy it goes all over the place it's like it's like it's too creamy so i'm not the biggest fan of that i do want to i did try to like use pencils to see what would work but i probably should just toss it this is the lip glow this isn't really a pencil but it's the Pixie by Petra in the color Ruby. It's like this very nice uh, pink. It kind of reminds me of like the ones that are like from Tarte. That are the Maracuja ones. It's kind of like what it reminds me of. And then this is the Floss Lip Advocate in the color Your Anna. It's a very nice kind of just nude color. I really like it. It's very good, in my opinion, for, like, an everyday kind of makeup look. Okay, next are my glosses. So, I'm gonna go through those. We have three lip glosses from Ulta Beauty. One's a pink shimmer, a clear shimmer, and then just, like, a brown. Okay, next we have a Tarte H2O gloss. It is like a shimmery blue. It kind of goes on like with a tint of blue, but it's not really like blue. It's not blue like what it looks like. So I have that. It's very nice. I mostly use it as like a topper, like on top of like lipstick. This is the Pillow Talk. It just says Pillow Talk. But this is like the lip collagen one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's not the lip glosses, but it's the one that has like collagen in it. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's so moisturizing, smoothing, and it has like a minty kind of refreshing feel to it. I love this. 
Next is the Charlotte Tilbury just pillow top, pillow talk lip gloss. Look at this packaging. Like, look how shimmery pink that is. And it is shimmery. It's really nice. Next, I have this Ciate London Color Flip um, lip gloss. So, this is very pigmented and it does last. Like, I put this on as a tester earlier and, um, like, I wiped it and that's still there. Like, it really does stay. The glitter is like, you can definitely feel the glitter, but it's nice. Um, next, I have this pure lip gloss in the color, oh my god, Rebel. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Um, I got a little startled there. Um, okay, I was saying this Rebel color by Pure. It is nice. Um, it actually, surprisingly, is pretty long-lasting. This is the Estee Lauder Pure MV um, in 115 Flash Fire. This is my favorite lip gloss. I love to top this lip gloss on top of my lipsticks because most of the time they're neutral. So this is just like the perfect topper. Um, I also have this one by Estee Lauder. It is 107 Tinder Trap. And it's like this nice red. It kind of goes on as like just a really light red even though it is very pigmented. It's like it has, like it has an undertone of pink and it's very nice. Um, the reason why I like these is because they're like, they're like, in my opinion, like a luxe lip gloss. Like they come with a brush, which is just like a regular applicator. And I'm just going to put them on just to show you. It maybe has a little stickiness to it, but for me, it's just nice and smoothy. <laughs> it's smooth and shiny. I put that together and said smoothie. <laughs> okay, my last two products, this is just like an EOS chapstick. I actually find these to not be that hydrating. Um, I've had EOS for a long time, but as I've used them more and used other products, I'm like, they're not so hydrating. But I keep it, you know, just in case I need a little... Um, uh, moisturizer and this is the Tarte Busy Gal Gloss this is the mini one but just let me tell you like you don't really have to get the big one this one lasts a pretty long time um, it's the color Run This Town and it is just this really nice shimmery pink it's like a squeezy tube and it's not sticky it's very smooth and I think it's a beautiful lip gloss okay so as you can see the sun has went down. You can see the pretty sunset. I love the, the shade range of color. Okay, so that was my uh, beauty collection. Well, that is my beauty collection. Um, that's all my makeup, and I hope you really enjoy this. This video is going to be going to be pretty long, uh, but well, as you've seen, it's pretty long. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had fun watching these types of videos. If you want to see more, just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button. And if you want to know when I post a video, press the bell button. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful day.